Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle, and today I'm going to be talking about some December new releases and my TBR. So I can't believe December is almost here. I'm just trying to wrap up all of my end of the year reading this month, so my TBR is not gonna be too big. I want to be able to hit my goal though, which is 300 for the year. Right now, as of filming this, I am at 275. It's not as crazy as it seems. I did read a lot of novellas this year, so books maybe under 150 pages, so that definitely helps pad my goal up a little, but they're still books, so they count, and I just love novellas, so I think I'm just gonna keep doing that. First up though, I'm gonna talk about some December new releases that I'm excited for. I hope to get to a lot of these this month. Some of them come out a little bit too late in the month, so I don't think I'll get to them, but I'll probably try and pick them up in January if that's the case. So first up on December 5th, we have Howl for the Gargoyle by Catherine Moon. This is book two in her Monster Smash Agency, and I'm really excited for it. So in this, we have a human turned werewolf who is just looking to let off a little steam and her friend suggests that she goes to the Monster Smash Agency and at the Monster Smash Agency we have a gargoyle who is losing clients left and right. They end up getting paired together. They have amazing chemistry and he just wants to keep her so that he doesn't end up losing his job. Catherine Moon writes some amazing monster romances and I'm really excited to pick this one up. So next up on December 7th is Gold by Raven Kennedy. This is the fifth book in her Plated Prisoner series. I don't think I'll be picking this one up right away. I actually haven't read the fourth book yet. I loved the first three and I really do want to continue on. I just have not had a chance to do it yet. But if you're unaware, the Plated Prisoner series is a King Midas reimagining where we follow Orin, who has been gold touched by King Midas. He keeps her in a cage away from everybody, but war comes to the kingdom and she learns some things about him and realizes that he might not be keeping her for her protection. He might be doing it for a darker reason. I'm excited to see where this series goes and I hope to pick it up soon. So next up on December 8th is Three Stolen Kisses by Cassie Mint. Cassie Mint is a novella author who I really like. She solely writes novellas. She probably has like 90 of them or something, could even be more. I think I've read around 40 of them this year alone. I absolutely love her stuff. It is mostly insta-love, virginal heroines with older guys, a little bit taboo, stuff like that, but it's still a fun read and they're super quick to get through. So this one is set at a holiday party and it looks to be the heroine ends up with her dad's security guard. So I can't wait to see where that goes. So next up on December 19th, we have Heartstopper Volume 5 by Alice Oseman. This is a graphic novel series set around high school following Nick and Charlie and they meet, fall in love, and all the things that happen in between. There are discussions around mental health and eating disorders in this series though, so please be aware of that before going in. I have read all four of the ones that are out so far and I absolutely adore them. Next up on December 26th, there is Puck and Her Blades by Rosemary A. Johns. This is book five in her Pack Bonds series. This is an Omegaverse series where all of the Omegas are in bad situations. They end up getting out leaving and finding their packs, but at the same time continuing to rebel against what put them in those bad situations in the first place. I really don't want to give too much away. Pick this up if you are into Omegaverse though. In this one, it sounds like we have Puck, who is an Omega who has been sold to a hockey team. She is the only Omega hockey mascot ever and something happens where she goes into heat mid-game and I guess some of the players come to her rescue and she's worried that they won't bond with her because she's been labeled a reject and rejects are not allowed to bond and I really really can't wait to see where this one goes. I've loved all the other ones in the series and I hope to love this one too. Then lastly in the new releases section also on December 26th Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross, which is the conclusion in the Divine Rivals series. Divine Rivals is a story about two young journalists who find love through a magical connection. 
They find themselves in the middle of a war among gods, and now they have to do whatever they can to save themselves and those that they love. I really enjoyed the first book in this duology, and I can't wait to read the conclusion. So to continue on with my TBR, I am actually going to be participating in Lightfall, which is part of the magical readathon that is put on by G from Book Roast. Lightfall this year is from December 9th to 17th, and I'm really excited about it. I will link her video below if you want to go check that out and participate yourself. I'm only going to be picking books for a couple of the prompts. The first prompt that I'm going to be doing is Wallace's Wonderful Winter Wanimals. That is a tongue twister. And the prompt for that is Snow or Ice on the cover. For this, I picked Snowed In with a Demon by L.E. Eldridge. This is a holiday monster novella. It is about this demon at a haunted inn who is trying to scare the inn manager. I guess he finds her fear delicious and wants to continue scaring her. It says that it's a fast burn with cozy vibes and an adorable cat, so what more could you want? And then the second prompt that I want to do for this readathon is the Smith and Friends and Sons Arcane Goods and Such prompt, which is the last book you added to your want to read list. This book for me is going to be Heist by Tate James. This is the Mystic Box edition and I absolutely love it. It is super pretty. I love the sprayed edges. It has Tate on the back, her signature, and inside it came with a little Dear Reader letter and it had this art print and we also get this one as well as some pretty end papers. And then we also have Hand Signed by Tate. I'm super excited to have this. I do have Forgery as well, but this one I have not read yet, so this is going on my TBR. So this is part of Tate's Shadow Grove world where we have the Madison Kate series, the Hades series, as well as the Guild series. All of those are either like reverse harem or why choose, but this one is strictly male female. So that is going to be interesting to see from Tate, but I am excited to pick this up. So from what I understand, this one follows the criminal underworld of Shadow Grove and there's a game going on where you have to find something specific. And I guess this year's thing that they have to find is a painting of this poppy grove. And the male main character has won the game five years in a row and he does not want to lose this year. But the female main character is standing in his way. So I am excited to see what happens. I really don't want to know more than that. Tate is one of my favorite authors and I can't wait to pick this one up. I might also take part in some of the other prompts. I know the Owl Cat Craft Cafe has a prompt of listen to an audiobook while crafting or craft in the title. I love crafting and I do have some plans to craft for Christmas this year, so I'll probably pick up an audiobook. I don't have anything in mind right now, but when the time comes, I'll definitely be able to find one. And the Rich Pigeon Pub is another one, which is reach out to somebody this festive season. So I might try and reach out to somebody I haven't talked to in a while and just see how they're doing. That's it for the Lightfall prompts. The next two books are just two book box books that I want to get done in December. So the first book that I want to pick up off my physical TBR is going to be The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox. I got this back in 2021 and somehow I just managed not to read it. It is a holiday book so I want to read it during the holiday season so I think this is my year. I'm definitely going to try and give this one a go. What I know about this one is that it follows two twins who swap places. One is a chef who gets hit on the head and ends up losing her sense of taste and smell. So she ends up switching places with her sister who is a baker because the chef is presently on a baking show and she doesn't want to lose. So she brings her sister in so that she can taste everything and figure out what's going on. And during the swap, they each meet a guy but they're pretending to be the other sisters, so this kind of throws a wrench in the mix. I can't wait to see what happens, and I'm excited to pick this one up this year. Then last up for my December TBR, I am hoping to read Kiss Her Once For Me by Alison Cochran. This book I got last year and didn't get around to it, but again, super holiday. I really want to read it this year. I am excited about this one. I heard good things last year, and I'm excited to pick it up. 
So in this, our main character has a meet-cute on Christmas Eve and finds the love of her life, but wakes up the next morning to a betrayal where she's not there anymore. She thought this was the one and she just disappeared. So a year later, she ends up finding a job at a coffee shop where the landlord actually needs to enter into a marriage of convenience so that he can claim his inheritance. So the main character decides, why not? I'll just do this. But when they get to her new husband's house for the holidays, she realizes that his sister was the woman she fell in love with a year ago. I'm super excited to see where this goes and I can't wait to pick this one up. So that's it for my December TBR. I'm really excited and I hope to get to all of these books. Let me know what you're planning on reading in December down below. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.